Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G, and right at the end of the recording of our last True SDX FT8 special cable video, I saw that Guido put out a note. Guido is PE1NNZ, he is the creator of the firmware inside of the True SDX. Uh, he said there is a bug, a bug, a feature, of the Linux operating system that makes it difficult for cat control to work because of the way that Linux interfaces with the serial ports, and he gave us a fix. So we go to our Linux machine and we pick terminal emulator, and there is this special command line, the STTY command line, which is setting up how your TTY is going to be addressed. TTY is serial port, essentially. It, it actually stands for something completely different, but in today's age, it means serial port. Dash F is the special file descriptor for the serial port. Slash dev slash TTY USB zero is the port on my machine. It's probably the port on your machine too, uh, but if not, we'll have to find it. So the way that we find it, let's do that real quick, is ls slash dev slash TTY star, and we'll get back a whole bunch of different port numbers here. And what you can do is you can unplug your radio and run ls again on that directory ls slash dev slash tty star and it will be gone and then you plug it back in and it will show up again so it'll be usb 0 usb 1 usb whatever it'll be there and uh it'll be fairly obvious that it's missing when the radio is not plugged in and it's not missing when the radio is plugged in because it's now plugged in uh we want to put it into raw mode we want to echo echo e echo control uh, HUP CL, eChoke, and 38400 is the baud rate for the port. These all mean a bunch of different things, and they talk about uh, different ways of controlling the port. But this is what Guido sent over. This is what we're going to use. I don't even know what 100% of this stuff does. What's important is it works. So we're going to set that up first, and then you can go ahead and exit your, your terminal, and you can go into WSJTX. And you see cat control pulled up right away. I'll show you the settings that I have for this radio. Uh, we have the Kenwood TS480 dev TTY USB zero, like I showed you before, 3800 is the uh, baud rate. And then data bits eight, stop bits one, hardware handshake is none. And then DTR is high, RTS is low, we're set for cat. Front mic, this, Kind of doesn't matter because there isn't really another choice, but set it for front mic. Set mode to USB. Uh, split operation set to none. And then we hit test cat and it was already green. So there we go. It works. Let me go over here and I will switch bands from 20 meters to 30. You hear the relays click on the radio and we changed over to 30 meter band. Let's give it a cycle. See it decode some stuff. There we go. And we'll go over to 40. Hear the relays click, see the audio blip. We'll give it a cycle, see if it decodes anything. There we go. So it is all working. There is my friend Andy. I'm gonna try and make a contact with Andy again. But that is the rig control settings for the radio. I just wanted to get that out. Like I said, it showed up right after I finished editing the video right at the last second. So I dropped the screenshot in there. I wanted to show you how it was done and how simple it is to get this thing working on Linux now that we've got the hardware flow control stuff sorted out. Uh, apparently Linux was arguing with the cat control software and since Linux is the operating system, it wins. There is a video right over there that I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.